Oh, good day. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Uh, today's episode, we're going to go and break the bad news to Harry's mom's house. Harry's mom, sorry, not her house. Her mom. Sucker, you can't speak! Uh, uh, Harry's mom. Oh, some bad news. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Cloud and Griever, wasn't it? It's about Aries, isn't it? Sorry. The Shinra have her. Sorry, ma'am. I know. What? They took her from here. They were here? That's what Aries wanted. Oh, Shinra after Aries. Tell me. Aries uh, is an ancient, the sole survivor. What did you say? Blonde, you a mother sucker! Not a real mother. Oh, it must have been 15 years ago. During the war with Wutai. My husband was sent to the front. Some far away place called Wutai, like I just said. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming on leave. Home. I see. So he went to the station, of course, to meet him there. Hey, is that... Oh, no. No, man. It's just him. Uh, the other one, Biggs. Uh, never mind. Carry on, please. Sorry, man. That's okay. We've all lost a lot of people today. Oh no, there's a train guard as well. Remember him, Tifa? Yeah. I miss that guy already. God damn Shiver. Damn you all hell. So I waited by the train station and I asked the nice man who used to work there if anyone else was on board. He told me no. I felt like a bit of a loser, but there must have been a good reason. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him that time. No, I'm sure his leave was just cancelled. I went to the station every day. Then, one day, yeah? What happened? I'm getting to it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, nothing's happening. I found a dead woman, dying. She wasn't quite dead yet. <laughs> and you used to see a lot of things like this during the war. The train guard didn't even bother to help. This woman said to me, please take care of somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was probably lonely, so I decided to take her with me. That's understandable. Yeah, it is. Ares and I quickly became very close. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me she escaped from some kind of research laboratory somewhere, and that her mother had already returned to the planet, so she wasn't lonely, and many other weird things like that. I see. Return to the planet! I didn't know what she meant either. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom! I can almost hear her now. Please don't cry. Aries just blurted that out all of a sudden. When he asked her if something happened, Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you. 
but he already returned to the planet. I'm sorry. At that time, I didn't believe her. But several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. And that's how it was. A lot had happened, but we were happy until one day. Uh, sing! You know him, Cloud? Yeah. We want you to return Ares to us. We've been searching for her for a long time. No, never! Ares, you're a very special child. You are of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. Of course I heard it. That she was an ancient. <laughs> The Ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Beyond Mexico, Ares will be able to help bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Ares cooperation. No! He's wrong! I'm not an Ancient! I'm not! But Ares, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. <laughs> no, I don't! Let me alone, creep! But I knew, I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. That's very good of you, Shilmora. I know. It's amazing how she avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra needed her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. That's not good enough, ma'am. But why now? She put a little girl here with her. On the way here, Sang found them. She probably couldn't get away fast enough. She decided to go to the Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. It must be Marlene. Marlene! There is because... You're her father? How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that sucker. I think about it all the time. What would happen to Marlin if I... <sighs> but you gotta understand something. I don't got an answer. I wanna be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I wanna keep fighting. But I'm always with Marlene. I really just wanna be with her. Always. See? Oh, I'm going in circles now. I... I think I understand what you're saying. She's upstairs asleep. Why well, don't you go and see her? Ah, uh, Barrett. I respect you, man. It's my fault. I was the one who got Ares involved in this. Don't say that. Ares doesn't think that. Ah, <sighs> wanna check on Barrett, okay? Come on, Claude. Shouldn't we give him some private home? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna check on him, that's all. I'm so, so glad, sucker, you're right! Daddy, don't cry, your whiskers hurt. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, Claude! Claude! You gotta go help Ares, right? She's done so much for me! If it's a shit we're dealing with, I can't just sit her, I'll come it too! Sucker! Guess what, guess what? Ares was asking me lots of questions, like what kind of person Cloud is. I bet she likes you, Cloud. Uh, I don't know. Stupid! Uh, kids. <laughs> Let's go, Cloud. Uh. <sighs> Look, man. I'm not gonna just let someone hurt Ares, okay? Me, Cloud, Tifa, Barrett. Uh, we're gonna go to their headquarters and kick the crap out of them. Yeah, what he said. Let's get out of here. Where are you going, Cloud? You're going after Ares, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shimu headquarters. You've got to be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. If I stay in here, I'll, I'll go crazy and stuff. 
Uh, I made two, and I'm coming too. Sorry, but can you take over Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else, sucker. You're right. But promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. I promise, ma'am. We all promise. <sighs> How do we get to the Shima building? They're not trying to go up there no more. Ah, man. Well, let's just go to the market. We might be able to find something there. <laughs> Hello, do you hear that, man? You gotta go to the wall market again. Why are you going to the wall market? Tough, man, we got him. The first way you want to do is buy. <laughs> Come in here, man. Hey, remember you? You'll never know what's going to happen. It's a crazy world. So you better have at least what we need to be in a market. Remember you, man? I said I'll be back. Well, here I am. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm the boy, goddamn. Ha ha ha. Hello, boy. 99 grenades. Ha ha ha. You crazy biscuits. Let's go. Do this again. Good boy. Hey, Cloud. Why did you buy 99 grenades? You'll see. Uh -uh. Do this again. Goodbye. <laughs>